London uncovered as we are moving on to a new episode and today we are talking about foundations of a great relationship yes they say relationships are like a shirt and a tie either it should be matching or a total contrast and having a happy and successful relationship can be a struggle the foundations are the key to a great relationship they can include boundaries communication trust consent compromise understanding and empathy Boundaries. Having boundaries is like drawing a line. These boundaries can be physical, emotional, sexual, digital or material. It is important to let one's partner know what his or her boundaries are. When you find that the line has been crossed, it is important to be sorted out by having an honest conversation. Communication. Open and honest communication is important. Paying special attention to speaking, listening, body language and digital communication is vital. Trust. Here are some ways to build trust. Be reliable. Respect boundaries. Be honest and walk the walk. Don't just talk the talk. Do what you say and say what you mean. Consent. Getting consent can be simple. It's all about communication. You can talk about boundaries before engaging in intimate moments to ensure everyone involved is comfortable with what is going on. Compromise. Compromise is one of the critical foundations of a relationship. Without compromise, a relationship will just be a big game of chicken between two stubborn people. Besides this, empathy and understanding plays a very important role. The ability to feel what the other person are feeling is another strong foundation of a relationship. Relationships are hard work and it's not just something you magically have because of luck and destiny. And one author puts it beautifully, love is not always bells and harps it is a whisper or a sigh love is caring and true there is no goodbye so let's go and see what people have to say about Tell us, what do you think are the foundations of a great relationship? I think, like, patience and understanding. Um, people expect relationships to be perfect, but they're not. And I think to build a proper foundation of a relationship, you need to take those, you know, those things that might not work and, you know, love and understand them anyways. And I think once you find someone that does that, that's love and a good relationship. What do you think? 
I think, um, yeah, I think what Janana said is quite good. And uh, also communication is you have to communicate what you want, what you need, and find ways to, to fulfill that. How does one build it? Trust, I think. Uh, not just in the other person, but also in yourself, in your own decisions. Because I think when you do fall for someone, it can be really scary. So I think you really need to kind of trust your own intuition first. Yeah, I think um, communication is also something that's, uh, that's learned. And it's you have to understand that it's learning from both sides. You have to be understanding for when the other side is also maybe not perfect and needs to learn and has experiences to make and yeah what message would you give to the world love more <laughs> yeah love more that's good thank you very much it has been amazing thank you thank much you. appreciated thank you thank you so much tell us what are the foundations of a great relationship i think there are probably three when I think about it. Um, the first one is you have to fancy them. I mean, it sounds so stupid and so obvious, but if you don't, it's not going anywhere. And But I do know too many people who married their best friends and then actually end up disappointing them because they just don't, don't fancy them. Um, the second one, maybe a bit less obvious, but I think it's actually realizing the other person is um, not you. Um, you have to take pleasure in them as themselves not as somebody who makes you feel great about yourself um, so often you fall in love with somebody really you fall in love with somebody because they make you feel brilliant about you well that's fantastic it, that's a really nice thing but they are a different person and they have a different center of life and they have a different priorities to you so take can you take pleasure in them as them um, and can you let them be a separate person with their own loves and desires um, and I think the third thing is um, uh, making friends with their family. So how does one build that relationship? Make friends with their family. It actually sounds so, so strange, but um, that family often is the thing that you feel that um, maybe they need to get away from. But people's families stay with them all, the whole way through. They're never going to go away. And you... Um, at some point you need to realize where that person that you love where they came from why they are the way they are um, because they're going to bring part of that family into your life whether you're just dating or whether you get more serious about it so make friends with that person's family and make friends with their past try and understand what's made them what they are and where their motivations come from because if you saying your past is kind of something now that I'm friends with then you're not frightened of it and you'll understand them at a much much deeper level what message would you give to the world, Peter? I think I would say, really, when you fall in love, it feels like it's just the two of you, but there's always more than two in a relationship. Um, there's always more than two. There's a whole background of attachments and parents and former boyfriends and former girlfriends and friends you, you were with. Everyone has a crowd inside them. And so making a relationship with that one special person, actually, it's not just with that one special person. It's with the whole world that they bring with them. Peter, that was profound once again. Thank you very much. No problem. Us, what are the foundations of a great relationship? Uh, well, uh, I think uh, mainly uh, good communications between people. 
that's the uh, main thing that ruins uh, relationships. Uh, like, uh, listen to uh, your uh, partner. Uh, don't sweep things under the uh, carpet. Uh, have a time and a place to talk. Know when there's the best time to talk and where is the best place to talk as well. Uh, don't put other people on the defensive because uh, then you start finding things wrong with them. And above all, practice. Practice communicating as well. So how does one build it? I think it's like it's built, uh, everything's built on trust and also like, don't give up communicating with whoever you're with. What message would you give to the world, Nigel? I would say, yeah, if you've got a partner, keep talking. Nigel, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Right, thanks a lot. Tell us, what do you think are the foundations of a great relationship? Oh, I don't know. Woman knows best, I suppose. Uh, but no, I'm really uh, trust, honesty, uh, forgiveness, sharing. Um, basically, that's about it, really. Uh, make sure that uh, you both give equally and uh, take equally and not one side be one another. And, you know, there you go. So how does one build it? Well, lots of trust over time, getting to know somebody, um, getting to know somebody quite well and then not rushing into things and just building up and, you know, you know just getting to know somebody really and make sure I can trust you. What message would you give to the world, Brett? Well, if you got into a relationship, keep it, treasure it because you never know when it will end. So, you know, keep it going. It's just best for you. Brett, it's been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay. Tell us, what do you think are the foundations of a great relationship? Yeah, I think that for any, any relationship, whether it be your family, uh, your partner, um, friends, you have to have understanding. Um, uh, you have to have like, empathy because we're all different, we're all complex. So, um, you know, we, we kind of get in each other's nerves a lot of the time and you have to be able to have that understanding of the other person because we're, we're all flawed. So I think any relationship with, you know, in, in, those, in that context, you have to um, have almost have emotional intelligence, you know, be able to understand people so that when they make those mistakes, you can forgive them. And, and you know, uh, I think any, any relationship has, has its ups and downs. So, yeah, just love and understanding, I would say. Is so how can one build it? Um, so, like I say, you know, like my, my partner and I, um, we, we've had quite a, quite a few ups and downs. Now, we, we split up at one point and then we got back together. And I think the reason that we, we've endured eight years is because we, we kind of, we, we understand each other. We have the emotional intelligence to, to know that when we have our, our downs, when we have arguments and disagreements, we will go away, reflect a little bit and then come back and listen to each other's viewpoints. And although we, we may still be annoyed at each other, we come to an understanding that, that we need to move on from this. So if I've done something wrong, I'll apologize. If she's done something wrong, she'll apologize. But it's not just the apology, it's the, the willingness to, to move on. The, the awareness that you know we can't, we can't dwell on, on the negativity. You have to uh, um, move on with, with a positive sort of out, outlook. I think that's that's what a relationship is all about. What message would you give to the world, Tom? Um, I think that we should take inspiration from uh, the lyrics of the song, uh, a song that escapes me now. You know, love and understanding. That that is what it's all about. Understanding um, each other. Understanding that we're all human, and that we all need to get along. And we have to do that by being um, humble and contrite and willing to forgive and forget. Tom, once again, a pleasure. Thank you very much.
as we come to the end of this episode and we've been talking about the foundations of a great relationship and as the saying goes it takes two to tango relationships can only work if both parties exert equal effort in making the relationship work without teamwork one partner will be left to carry the burden of the relationship on their own if both partners know how to commit to one another no matter what storms they are faced with then the relationship will survive even the most challenging times as the older folks say a relationship will always be a work in progress and studies show that the secret of all long lasting relationships and especially marriages is forgiveness so make every minute of your life count <laughs>